It's currently 1.30 in the morning in Perth, Australia. And I got out of bed to talk to you about a signing from Tom Kuhnackle. Oh my god, can you not swear like that, please? This is a family friendly show. Swear? When did I swear? I'm not even gonna repeat that word because it's just blasphemy. Let's just face it, it's just outright disgusting. All you just said is the Pittsburgh Penguins have signed and. Oh my god. Wait, do you mean coon hackle? Oh my god, he's done it again. I'm out, I'm out, I can't, I can't, I, I just can't, that... No, 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 no. No, this is family friendly time. I'm sorry about that, but it's really hard to come up with a minor league signing and come up with something funny for it. I know I was reaching, you don't need to put that in the comments. As usual, I'll put up the video of a signing and this is him literally killing Ryan Murray up there. The Pittsburgh Penguins have re-signed Tom Kuhnhackle. It's an AHL signing and pretty much why not? I'm really glad the Penguins actually made this signing and we haven't given up on a player that could end up being something. Right now he plays in the NHL, uh, you may see him for a game or two if we have another injury run in the Penguins. It's the Penguins, everyone's gonna get hurt again. As usual, I like to give you guys a bit of background story because a lot of these players that were here before the draft and free agency are pretty much nobodies that no one has heard about before. Tom Kuhnhackle hails all the way from Germany. Featuring such bands as Ramstein. Do, do hast, do hast nest. Tom Kuhnackel, son of Eric Kuhnackel. You might not know him, but he's labeled the Gretzky of Germany. Literally, his stats are ridiculous. I'll put it down below. He was like just German everything. Tom was drafted 110th overall in the 2010 entry level draft by the Pittsburgh Penguins. We haven't traded for rights or anything like that. In junior, he played in the OHL for the Windsor Spitfires and the Niagara Ice Dogs. With the Spitfires, he actually was a point-a-game player uh, the year that he was drafted, and that's probably why he was drafted. Let's face it, 68 games, 69 points. You kind of take a look at that. He played 48 games. He got 10 points in those games. Didn't look that flash, to be honest, but he was coming off season-ending shoulder surgery, and it kind of takes a bit to get over it. It was also his first season, proper season in pros, and it's a bit of like a deer in headlights for some of these kids that are just like, oh crap, people are good here. Season just gone, however, he played 72 games, got 30 points, which again shows me that he probably won't end up playing for the Pittsburgh Penguins this season or probably any other season, but you never want to give up on someone that has actually improved a little bit. And that's the thing for the Penguins, it's retaining assets like this because you just never know. You never know when that kid's just going to catch fire around 25, 26 because some people are very late in development and you're just not 100% sure and you don't want to... Just... Just don't give up. He signed for one season at $575,000 on a two-way contract. That is a bit of a mouthful, so coon hackle. This is probably the only time you'll hear about him all season, but he gets his, he gets his time on the Penguins off-season show number two by an Australian in Perth who is up at 1.30 in the morning and is very tired. But I shouldn't really rant and rave about that because I actually love doing this and the video is still going. It went for a while. Um... That's the whole video, guys. There's not really much I can talk about with this one. I mean, let's face it, it's an AHL signing. We're just kind of hoping that he improves again next year and then get to sign him again and, and um, you know, might make it to the big dance in a year or two. Maybe when he's 25, 26, we'll look back in this video and be like, oh, look at this guy in Australia literally not knowing that this guy was going to be who he ended up being. Uh, sorry for not as many jokes. It's 1.30 in the morning. It's really hard to do. Uh, I hope this was entertaining. If you've lasted this long and heard me talk about Tom Kuhnhackle for this long and you are not a sub, hit that sub button, my friend, because we are definitely going out on some sort of dinner date because you must love me. Um, hit that like button because that really does help me out. And comment down below, what do you think about this signing? Do you know Tom Kuhnhackle? I like the people in the last one that came out and they're like, this player is like this. And I was like, whoa, that's... That's something. If you guys know or have seen him play, put that in the comments below. Describe him, compare him to someone else. I can't really see much on him, to be honest. I think he's going to be, at best, a fringe player that will play a few seasons in the NHL and then we'll never hear about him. And by seasons, I mean he'll get a couple of call-ups and that's it. He's the Ebert of Germany.